Hello, my name is Gianna Klein, aka The Archie from Tangie.co, and welcome to Home Talk. Go to your local dollar store and pick up a solar light, pool noodle, broom handle, and two wooden signs. We are going to start this craft off by removing any stickers from your pool noodle. After the sticker is removed, bend the pool noodle to straighten it slightly. For the broom pull, you can take off the top or leave it on. The top will just secure it better, but it does leave less space inside. Take the pull and put it into the pool noodle. Leave the screw end pushed out slightly. These wooden signs can be used on either side, so keep in mind what direction you want these to point. Take off any stickers from the signs. Since I don't need this string, I'm going to cut it off. You can also get these blade tools over at your local dollar store. Measure the arrows. Get the length for where you would like to put down text. And also make sure to get the width as well for both of them. After you have measurements for both arrows, turn on your vinyl cutter. You could also paint text onto these arrows if you do not have a vinyl cutting machine or don't want to go and put vinyl letters on. After the vinyl is cut, weed it, prep it, and then get it ready for transfer. Remove the transfer tape and make sure the wooden surface is clean before you put down any vinyl. Press the vinyl down and peel the transfer tape on both arrows. No matter if you choose to paint, or use vinyl, make sure to seal the wood on both sides to prevent weathering. Use black spray paint on the pool noodle. You may have to go over it a few times and definitely make sure to do this outside in a well-ventilated area. Wait for the pool noodle to fully dry and apply glue to the light bottom. Put the light into the top of the pool noodle and make sure it sits well in place. You want to hold it for a couple seconds as well. For a ground light, if you're going to use one, glue a wooden arrow onto the bottom of the light. Hold it, and then tape it in place so it dries and sticks well. After the glue on your pool noodle is dry, take your wooden arrow and loop it backwards. Twist it around clockwise so the text is facing forward. Dig a hole outside and push the broomstick screw end into the ground. You can also actually screw this in place as well too to keep it in place better. Place any other lights that you have around the pole. Step back and look at your work. This light will help to point out this pesky step during both daytime and also nighttime. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!